I see a lot of people. We, we've, we've got some people coming behind us right now. That's part of being at the show. Yeah. Um, it, <laughs> you don't want an empty. You don't want an empty booth. Um, so, uh, what are some common questions you're getting here? Um, uh, maybe specifically about this unit, but some of the other well, units. Well, you yeah. know, depends on. We get a lot of what is this? You know, guys still. I mean, hydro excavation's been around for a while, but there's still a lot of guys it's new to. Um, it's definitely gotten a lot more traction, but a lot of times I get somebody, "What is this? What do you use it for?" Okay, so that is it. Because uh, honestly, when I first saw it, I, I that's I was like, "What?" Well, I didn't understand what you were trying to do with it, and then I realized, "Oh, this is actually digging. Like yes. you're actually taking the dirt out." Yes. Yeah. So yeah, so we get a lot. That's usually a lot, we get a lot of those questions, and then after that, it's usually if you do know what it is, it's about size and capacities. You know, like I said, we have multiple sizes. Are uh, 700? We have a 1200, 1600. So 700 stands for seven yards of debris. Okay. 1,200, 12 yards of debris, 1,600, 16 yards of debris, right? So, you know, that's the next question. You know, what, what's your capacities? Um, you know, you can do with that. How much water? You know, they want to know how much CFM, how much blower. So these, uh, this truck, you know, 6,000 CFM blowers. Um, power, I mean, if it grabs your arm, it's not going to let go. No. So extremely strong machine. So as safe as they are, they're also, they are a machine and you need right. to be careful around them. Right. And... Uh so those different sizes, what would be like the different applications then? Yeah, so like this one here, we kind of call it more of our urban truck. So if you got a smaller, just little utility locates and you're in the middle of the city, you know, you don't need a big old tri-drive truck that you're trying to drive in the middle of uh, Manhattan or Chicago, right? So these trucks can get around a little easier that way, and they're uh, smaller jobs. You get uh, 1,200, then if you guys need a little more production out of it, maybe if you're doing we call slot trenching where you actually need to get more than just finding a little utility, but you're actually doing some stuff. And then bigger pipeline jobs, bigger oil field work. You got our 1600. As mm. the guys are literally, all they're doing is digging. They usually don't even bring in backhoes, whatever. They oh, just really? need, yeah. So around um, certain pumps, refineries nowadays, um, even electrical grids, they don't want um, mechanical digging anymore. Just because of the damage oh. it could cause, and you're not there. So they're so, actually specking. They're so actually they're, saying they're requiring you, you to come in oh, with that vacuum and only use vacuum excavation now. Really? Yes. Yeah. So I guess I, I'm going to ask some real layman questions. Ah, no then. worries. Um, so I guess then if you're going in, though, it has to be an area. You're not talking new construction where there's a bunch of rock and that sort of thing. You're talking area that ha has been disturbed before. Is that kind of a fair way to say yeah. it? Well, you know, you look at our um, cities, right? Especially you go out east, right? New York, Boston, anywhere, D.C. I mean, we're talking things have been put in the ground for 200 years um, and the, we didn't always map it out. You know, there, there used to be water lines and gas lines and, you know, cable, all sorts of stuff there. So when you go through some intersections or whatever, if you don't really know what's there, if you put a shovel in there, or you're digging with the backhoe or an excavator, you don't know what you're going to hit. At least here, if you hit it, you're not done any damage. You, right. know, you can totally expose it and you can move on. Right. Um, you know, I've, um, I mean, I've been on job sites where we found stuff that they didn't expect. We found fiber optic lines. I've actually seen wooden water lines that are still being used today that they didn't know there. Wooden um, water lines. Wooden water lines in North uh, Connecticut. Really? Yeah. So I was like, what is that? It looked like a tree root. And the guy's like, no, that's a water line. And he goes, they did something. So I forget how I did it. But he tested. He goes, yeah, it's still working. I was like, you've got to no be kidding way. me. So, yeah. I wonder what kind of wood they were using back so, then. I don't know, but it's still working. Hey, it's <laughs> that's all, I mean, that's kind of impressive. So, yeah. Well, you know, and, um, yeah, I was uh, outside of Boston and they had sewers, but they're all made of brick. And the, yeah. when you look at the the work it done back then, you know, I mean, think about it. Some guys just laying brick and building sewers out of it. It's amazing. It is. It is amazing. Some of this old stuff. You're like, yeah, I can see why they had to change it. But yeah, yeah but but you know, but like I said, at the same time, you know, if you had even gotten close to that with a metal excavator or whatever, just not even hitting it, but just the pressure of the dirt, just destroy it. Could destroy it. So, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I didn't realize. So these are like requirements now. Like you're saying, like in like you're talking about like oil fields and stuff yeah, like that. No, no. There's a uh, different. Uh, the refineries and stuff there that's part of the requirements um, oh. and different powers um that's why it's such a growing area i mean we're seeing more and more of the requirements mm -hmm. more and more of the states making it a requirement um you know two foot no they call two foot no dig rules uh so you can't dig within known utility within two feet with meaning mechanical order right. so you have to go in fully expose these use these trucks for that then they can come in so and, and finish up the project <laughs>